Maybe I'm foolish to think it could be More than the shadow I see when you leave Maybe I'm crazy to look for a sign Something that takes me outside of my mind A brief history of Tony Maserati would be attended Berklee College of Music, moved to New York City, and started working in Sigma Sound Studios. From there, I, uh, I really just, uh, I just hustled in New York City for quite a long time and mixed a lot of things. I used to bounce from studio to studio. I'd go from the old Chung King Studios uh, to Hit Factory, to Sony Studios, to Daddy's House Studios. And all the studios that were in town. I'd have my cartridge guy move the gear in. Sometimes I'd do two a day. And guys would bring my gear from Chungking all the way downtown to Sony all the way uptown. I first found out about the Bricasti uh, at NAM, And of course it sounded great, but what, what, you know, I can't really test it. And that's, uh, uh, that's the first time I was exposed to it. And then you know, we were doing this this Lady Gaga record, and we knew this was coming in. So I called you up and, and said, "Let's uh, let's let's get a test run on this in the real world," and uh, and it worked out fantastic. It saved our life, made the day. Um, but the M7 is actually really interesting because you can make it sound like various kinds of rooms, but also various kinds of ghosting images, and that is something that the the Bacasti does really well because of the way that allows you to manipulate uh, its parameters. Um, and I found that I did very little EQing outside of the unit itself. I think the M7 is put together like I'm used to, and, 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 and it's, it's an easy interface. Sonically, it does the things that I know how to manipulate. You know, I can, I can easily pull back on the decay time and increase the pre the pre pre delay. I can change uh, um, the, the the EQ filtering, and I know what's going to happen. To say that the M7 is is a step forward in the science of reverb is a perfect way of putting it. In fact, I think that should be your slogan, um, because yeah, it's. Any, anything that is easier, faster, and gets to the idea that's in your head quicker and fulfills it more fully is a step forward in that science. As engineers, that's exactly what we look for on a daily basis for any piece of equipment that we own. Um, so whatever the engineers of the M M7 are doing, They've obviously taken the history of, of digital reverbs and, and built upon it, um, and, and that's actually something that's really important to me.